Hi there, this is Solid Children from Solid Children Films and welcome to another Six of the Best where I pick some of my favourite actors and provide six of their best films or performances um, but again, this is an interactive series where I would like you to comment your favourite six um, films or performances from a certain actor Today is one of my favourite kind of lesser known supporting actors Susumu Terajima who has 178 credits according to Letterboxd um, he is a supporting actor um, I've only seen a fraction of his work but if you've seen a few Korida films or Tsukamoto films or especially Takeshi Kitano films you'll recognise his face I think he's been in 10 Kitano films um, but he's been in A Snake of June by Tsukamoto um, he has been in Air Doll by Corrida and Still Walking by Corrida and he was even in Ran as an uncredited soldier apparently um, I'll have to watch out for him the next time I watch Ran um, he just has a wonderful face it's quite a long face and for Kitano especially you know, that kind of taciturn, you know, the kind of black comedy that Kitano employs um, in his films. Uh, Terajima just works really well for Kitano. So three out of these choices are Kitano films. Um, as he has, you know, 178 credits, obviously I haven't seen most of his work. Um Hopefully I'll fix that at some point. So the first one is Sonatine. Um, I think this was the second Kitano film I watched after Violent Cop. I actually saw this in a cinema. Um, and here Terajima, as he does in quite a lot of Kitano films, plays um, one of his lieutenants or one of his sidekicks. But again, he brings a humour as well as... Um, a toughness and just that kind of blank Yakuza um, attitude. Obviously in Sonatine the famous scene that kind of almost interlude of the film where they all go to a beach um, and play Russian roulette amongst other things and fire fireworks at each other. Um, Terajima has a wonderful energy about him in those scenes as do all of the people. Even Kitano smiles um, so the second one is Hannah Bai, again Terajima plays um, another police officer in Kitano's um, unit. Again it's a much more um, reserved performance, it's a much more kind of reserved film. But again he does very good teeth clenching um, and those cheekbones really um, are enhanced through teeth clenching and it's another wonderful Kitano performance um, a Kitano film and a Terajima performance and then next one of Kitano's most underrated films Brother from 2000 this is the one that is also shot in America and here Terajima again there's a lightness about his performance you know there's lots of humour to be had as they put in a basketball um, hoop in their offices and obviously Terajima is willing to learn but perhaps he's not he doesn't have the natural physical aptitude for basketball as some of the American guys are obviously a bit taller than him um, and essentially run rings around him but he does try and compete um, that Yakuza style but then in one of the most shocking scenes in Kitano cinema um, Terajima really shows the meaning of loyalty to a rival boss that Kitano's crew wants to um, work with 
um, he shows how loyal he is to Kitano, to this other boss, and it's just a stunning scene and um, a wonderful performance by Terajima and a stillness, um, and it's just it's just a wonderful, shocking scene. Also, I won't tell you exactly what happens. You'll have to watch, brother. And then somebody, uh, Terajima, knows how to sacrifice for his art. And Ichi the Killer, by Takashi Miki. I mean, he goes through hell and boiling water in this film as he is strung up by hooks. Um, so his flesh is somewhat stretched. Um, obviously, there was no prosthetics. Uh, Terajima just did this um, with his own flesh. Probably not. Um, and he gets boiling water. He gets spikes through his face or needles through his um, space. Through his face, yeah. through his face, um, courtesy of Tadanabu Asano, um, and he spends the rest of the film in bandages. Um, it's it's a funny performance, even though it's also horrific. Um, Terajima is quite wonderful, and then we have Funky Forest, Warped Forest, um, which I did a double bill video. A while ago, um, where uh, Terajima here is one of three brothers, again Taranabu Asano and this little kid, there's three brothers. This is almost a free form um, sketch film. Um, some sketches work better than others. There's a Cronenbergian element, there's, also, there's almost a Monty Python element. Um, to the film, and as I say, there's kind of 20 odd little um, sketches that kind of come together or not, as the case may be, um, using animation and prosthetics and all manner of quirky Japanese things. It might not be completely successful, but it's never dull. Um, and Terajima keeps or tries to keep a straight face during the whole thing. And then just for the kids. Um, Gamera the Brave, where uh, Susumu Terajima actually plays kind of a normal person, which is certainly not something that you usually see um, Terajima do. Obviously, if you've seen more of his filmography, you probably have. Um, these are the kind of modern Gamera reboots, which I really enjoyed. Um, and I could be controversial and actually say that. On some level, these might actually be better than the original Gamara films. And because it is rare in these kind of films, as the Hollywood recent Godzilla films perhaps have proved that the humans, you know, you're not really interested in the humans. Whereas in these Gamara reboots, you know, the humans aren't the most important thing, obviously, but you do still care about them and they still are interesting enough in their stories. Um, and Terajima is wonderful in this as well. It is a little bit off-putting seeing him in a family uh, film where you know nobody's getting shot or getting strung up on hooks, but he does really well as a normal person. So thanks very much for watching. This one might be a little bit offbeat for some people, but. Go check these films out because they're all wonderful for one reason or another. Obviously Ichi the Killer if you like sadomasochism and body fluid. But thanks very much for watching. Again, please let me know in the comments below your favourite Susumo Terajima films. Because I would be excited to find out. So this is Solitary Ronin from Solitary Ronin Films. Saying farewell. <laughs>